the way we're going to seal this connector is I'm going to use some um, Scotch Scotch 33 Scotch 33 Super 33 Plus so this is electrical tape so what we'll do is we'll do a layer of this first over this connector so we'll start reasonably far back and get all of the bushes out of the way we'll start reasonably far back this is good nice vinyl type feel tape just electrical tape so we'll go over that first and the reason why is because the next lot of tape that we put on is amalgamating tape and that that gives us our water seal now the reason I didn't put the amalgamating tape straight on is because when you go to pull all the tape off again in the future it's very hard to get off because the amalgamating tape all sticks to the metal and sticks to the cable and it's really annoying to try and pull it all off so what we'll do is we put on this um, Scotch 33 electrical tape and what this will do is this will provide a like a bit of a barrier to that so that now when we put our amalgamating tape over the top it'll stick to this instead so then when we peel it all off it'll just peel off rather than sticking to the plastic and trying to pull it off of the actual cable because electrical tape's a lot easier to get off than this amalgamating tape so now the amalgamating tape here this is you don't put this on like electrical tape you put this on but you have to elongate it a little bit i think about is it 50 percent what does it say oh elongate 80 percent almost twice its original length so that'll then provide the seal so i usually just stretch it out like that till it goes that sort of light grayish color and then you keep going over at half laps and then work your way up cable i like to start a fair way behind the connector just because i'm a bit anal about that kind of thing because if there's any kinks or any sort of cuts or anything then it's going they're going to be covered so now we're going over the main end connector sometimes you get to this point and uh can't quite fit it around so you kind of have to feed it around like this and then sort of stretch it now we've done one layer i usually like to come back the same way so do another layer um, especially on sites like this where you get ice and snow so capillary action with water just does weird things sometimes and you get water in places where you thought you'd never get water in so we'll go if we'll go a second second layer and you can be a little bit more loose with this but it's that first layer that's the one that you really want to get Right, now we're done with the self amalgamating tape. We can put that away. Now we don't want to leave it like this because if we just do self amalgamating tape now, it's not UV proof. So what will happen is over time, the sun will make all this brittle and it'll just fall apart. Then when the water gets in behind this, it'll get under the electrical tape and the water will just run straight into the connector. So that's why we've got to go back over with electrical tape again, over the top of this and that will then protect it from the UV. So here in Australia, that's particularly important because we have incredibly high levels of UV. And almost every time you do it, we do a connector like this, you'll come back, you know, you could come back years later. I've had connectors I've done probably 10 years ago on sites like this and come back and you, you open it up and there's just zero water no no water at all which is good
Okay. Marvellous. Now, the last thing, we need to put a cable tie there because electrical tape unravels itself. So we'll put a small little cable tie there to just hold that there and we'll be good to then get this antenna up in the air. 